All right, now, if this were, first of all, what, what compound is this? Can you tell what this is? Butene, right, because it's got a double bond in here. And it would be 2-butene, okay? All right, 2-butene. Now, the thing is, the double bond doesn't allow free rotation like this guy does. I can rotate into, this, you know, staggered and eclipsed, whatever, but I can't rotate this guy. So it turns out that this guy is slightly different than this guy. Okay? Yeah, you see the difference? If you can see it, all right? I couldn't see it if I drew it like this. If I just drew, you know, like, um, that would be 2-butene. All right, and if I just draw it like that, I can't really see it. All right, I have to fill in the hydrogens, and I have to show where they are in a certain way. All right, now, I only get one here. I can't do that, right? That's wrong, right? Because that's got too many bonds around each carbon. So, basically, I'm going to show it um, with the actual, because you can tell it actually bends at that double bond, either this way or that way. And they have two different names. Okay. These are called geometric isomers, by the way. All right, geometric isomers. And they are stereoisomers that result from incomplete rotation about a carbon-carbon double bond. Woo. So they're stereoisomers again, but they're not due to the fact that you just have a different arrangement around a, a chiral carbon. But rather, due to the fact that the double bond doesn't allow free rotation. I'm going to use my two classic examples. You see, I mean, it's the cheapest or the easiest you can see. Uh, and that's going to be two butene, two but uh, either one or the other. And they have certain names, special names. Okay? Uh, you're going to, from now on, have to put in front of two butene a prefix, all right, either cis or trans. And it's really easy to remember. What does trans mean? It means a cross, like transcontinental railroad, right? Transgender. Tr transgender, very good. Trans, uh, our, That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, transatlantic uh, ocean, okay, transatlantic tri trip, okay. This is trans, and it makes sense. Notice the chain goes across the double bond, right? All right, if you look at cis, which stays on the same, it's easy to remember, cis, same, same side as the double bond, all right? So that guy right there is called trans. You could draw him. Yeah. He is called, look at, look at, look at he bounced in there, see it? Trans 2-butene. Same thing. And if you look at the other possibility, you've got cis 2-butene. You can copy both of those. Guys. Now, those are pretty easy, but I want, it's amazing how I, 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 there's certain things I would think you would understand about this, but whenever I ask you to do your own, I've got room for several examples down there, I always get mistakes from people, and I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to walk around and look at your answers, and then I'm going to put them up on the board and show you the kind of mistakes that you made. Okay, so draw that for me, and now we're going to try to name it. You want to name it to the side. Draw it exactly like I have it. Fill it in with the correct what, correct number of uh, H's and uh, dashes coming out. They're important. A lot of you guys have been, uh, remember the last test, a lot of you lost the point because you didn't put the right number of H's or bonds around the uh, uh, compounds. You have to have the right number around there. People fill them in with too many. Okay, now all I'm asking you in this one is to tell me his name. Okay? There are some mistakes you might make here. But they're not as big as the mistakes you'll make on the next one I do, and the next one after that. Now you have lots of room under two, I think, right? So you're naming, well, I want you to name him underneath it. We'll put a, a second one over here, also under example two. We'll put another one over here, okay? Because you've got quite a bit of room there. Okay, did you all name that guy? 
try naming it. I mean, I want you to try it yourself. I don't want to just wait till I give it to you. You know how to name it. If, there was, if I didn't draw it with a new thing on here, you would certainly be able to name this guy. Okay? So all you're going to do is be adding one little prefix in front of it. And I'm going to show you where to add it if you don't already know. And maybe, maybe you'll make a mistake about where you're going to add it right now. But make it, put an answer down. And that's like the majority. You realize that like one of the largest parts of this test is naming and writing these compounds. Like we had, on, remember the test we had? It was almost it was after the computer part. Uh, we did. We had a, yeah. a, a. It was not a full test. It was only forty points. Well, this one is the real test, and you don't get to use your rules for it. All right. So underneath this guy, let's see how you would name this guy. Well, first of all. You have to start from one side or the other. If I start from this side, one, two, three, bromine gets the lowest possible number. But does bromine win? Does he get precedence over the double bonds? No. So I've got to start from this side. So that's one mistake people would make. So there it is. I see people erase it already. So it's got to be started from this side. I purposely drew it this way, figuring you would probably not do it. So I've got to number it from this side. One, two, three, four, five bromo. It's going to be five bromo. All right, now, 5-bromo, is this in the cis or trans, uh, what does it look like to you? Cis. cis, okay, it's on the same side. The chain goes on the same side. Although some people are racing even for that. I, it's pretty obvious that this is cis, I would hope. Um, all right, it's, the chain does not go across the bond. It stays on the same side. So it's 5-bromo, cis, now, now. Um, what number is the uh, double bond on? Three. 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 Got to still have the number of that double bond. Cis, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's the prefix for seven? Heptine. Heptine, Heptine that is. Okay. I'm going to draw another one, and I want you to put this one. You should have room in your paper somewhere over here, but I'm going to just use the whole thing so you can see it better. All right. Try this one. Make it a little bit harder. All right, try that one. Draw him first and put him to the side of that guy we just drew. Because I'm going to put another, under example three, I'm going to put another, a couple of them doing them backwards. Now, notice what I'm doing again. It's been a while. Not only was there the fair break, but there was also the fact that we spent, oh, a good week and a half on different isomers. Structural, stereo, conformational. So, it's been a while since we just had to find the longest carbon chain. What's the prefix for this guy? How do we number them? All right, it's been a while since we've done that. So, again, put your answer down, see what you get, see what mistakes you make. The only way you're going to learn from is by making them, not by just copying my answers down. So try your own answer here. Give you a couple of minutes. What side you're going to name from? Who wins? Precedence. How many? What does this prefix mean? All right, first thing again, we have to choose which side. All right, and again, Wait, I'm not yet. all right, choose which side you're starting from. That's the first thing, because that'll change all your numbers if you don't choose the right side. <laughs> Who wins? What side am I starting from, the left or the right here? The right. The right. All right, so it's one, two, three. Four chloro, right? Four chloro. What else is on that number four carbon? Four fluoro. All right. Now, we also have the number of the double bond. 
And what position is in? What position is he in? Cis or trans? Two trans. No, no, it's, trans, trans comes first. Yeah. Trans, two, one, two, because that's a second carbon. Trans, two, you see it? One, two, we're going from this side, he's on the second one. So, four chloro, four fluoro, trans, that's an S, trans, two, one, two, three, four, five, Oh, 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 my fault. I missed the, another guy to put in there. Sorry. Oh, okay, good. My fault. Yeah. Yep. yep. I forgot this guy here. Uh, four, who do I forget? The methyl. The methyl. One, two, three, four. Five methyl. See, it's easy to do that. No, is it in trans two? Or yeah, it's still, it's still in trans. You can see why it goes across. So it's, it, I just said, it, that has not changed. That was not wrong. I just missed methyl. Trans to what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you have to remember even if it's bent, doesn't matter. Longest continuous carbon chain. So that's hexene, right? E N E. That's a long, nice long one. Yeah. Okay. Now let's try these backwards because there's a different mistake you're going to make now. It'll probably correct at most of these mistakes. Where to put? You're probably putting two trans, trans two, cis versus trans. And what side to start from? Those are your big mistakes doing them this way. But doing the other way, there's a different mistake in there. So let me have you draw this guy. Normally, drawing's easier. Remember in the, in the worksheets we did on the back, the drawing was the easy part. I gave you the name, and it was really uh, a lot easier. Let me show you. There's one mistake you're going to make on these you don't realize. It. All right. I want you to draw this other example three. 3-bromo, cis-2-pentene. Yeah, this is under number, example 3. 3-bromo, three cis-2-pentene. Again, leave room for two examples underneath there, too. So if you have that name, draw the compound underneath it, but leave room to the side. I'm not doing that so you can see it better, but leave room to the side and do a second example. <clears throat> it sometimes helps if you just draw the double bond first from these and work from that. All right, so you can make sure you're in cis or trans. And I want you to complete it. Draw it completely. I'm going to walk around. You will be surprised. I think I'll, I, I will not be surprised, but you will be surprised. Very few of you are going to get this 100% correct. It seems like it's an awfully easy one, too. You think, well, well, how can I get it wrong? All right? I want you to all get a chance. I'm going to walk around. Everybody's got to have something drawn. I'm coming. won't take you long to draw this guy. He's not that big. He's only 10. So, you all done? Let me see. Wrong. I'm waiting until she finished. Wrong. And I don't erase yet. I want you to see what you did right. Wrong. Wrong. Still wrong for one stupid reason. Not a big reason. Wrong. For an incredibly... Well, not really. All right, that's not bad. Um, okay. Wrong. Wrong. And you have to check mine. Wrong. I don't, I don't know if that's just trans. I have to show you. So what I got about three. All right, we're gonna check Shania's again, but she probably just copied that somebody else. Nope, still wrong. All right, now yo people, I need you all to look here. Okay, stop looking at your own papers. It shouldn't be surprising that we what about three right answers out of the whole class, completely right. All right, that I didn't say wrong next to. Now let's see what went wrong with these. All right. I'm going to draw a 3 bromo cis 2 pentane So, first off, what you do, when you draw that double bond, if you draw that double bond, you have to realize if it's in cis, they're on the same side, right? It doesn't matter if it's bent down on the same side or bent up. It makes no difference. But it does make a difference as to put where you put the rest of the other hydrogens. If he's cis, then I know the chain is going to go like this. Does everybody agree that that's going to be? Yes. Yeah, most people had that. And then this is what they did. 
That doesn't make any sense. You didn't, but other people did. Or another example would be they drew their hydrogens trans and they drew the chain cis. People, you got to realize if it's cis, away. if it's cis and the chain is on the same side, where do the hydrogens have to be? On the same side, the opposite side, but the same side. So when you go to draw this guy, you don't just throw the, and there were people, I think, a couple of people who just left out the H's. Just drew it like this, but left out the H's completely. All right? You can't do that. You have to, draw, let's, so let's draw correctly. Let's do this. Look at it. <laughs> that is the correct way to draw. You see it? I'm not, I'm not done, but I'm saying that's the correct way to draw the actual things, okay? Now, we have to put the rest of the stuff on here. What else goes on this? What does it say? I don't even have the answer up there anymore. What's it? Three bromo. Three bromo? So, I have to start from, this is the shorter side, one, two, three. So there's my bromine right there. If you start from the other side, like, I mean, like, to see... Yeah, I, again, that's not the only correct way. Let's draw it all the possible ways I could draw this correctly. Could have drawn it like this. Okay. That would be correct. So with this, I'm saying I got it correct. Watch, Victor. Did you really? You see that? Would that be correct as well? Sure. Now, and, and there's one other way I, I can do that one if I drop. They'll all be correct. All right.